Hello everybody, it's Lisa and welcome back to my kitchen. So happy almost St. Patrick's Day. I'm making something green, don't worry. I know I'm not wearing it. Um, keto mint chip donut recipe. Okay, so you're going to make about eight donuts ahead of time and let them cool. And then uh, three quarters of an ounce of white sugar-free white chocolate chips. I use the lilies. You can use baked believe if you want to. Um, one and a half teaspoons of coconut oil, one, one quarter of a cup of butter, very soft or a dairy free option, which is what I used or balance. One third of a cup of powdered for sweetener, one teaspoon of mint extract, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, natural green food coloring and chocolate shavings. Okay. So what I'm doing is melting the chocolate and the coconut oil in the double boiler. And that's something we're going to incorporate in. And then earlier I had gone and mixed most of the butter or the butter substitute and the powdered sweetener, the mint extract, and the vanilla extract. So now I just need to finish mixing it. So just to let you get a little bit of background on me, if you've never heard, uh, never seen me before, um, I've been doing low carb keto for about three or four years now, and um, it used to be that I was a lot bigger, and we couldn't go a lot of places together because my husband had a sore foot, and um, so when we started taking nutritional supplements, which look a lot like this, well actually a little bit before that too, um, we started with CBD, we tried the oil and that helped, but it didn't help as much, but the way we take it now and there's the CBD patch, which helps with inflammation. It helps me with mood. So that's awesome. Um, but it, then I also have, um, the vitamin patch that goes in like this and we've been really blessed with not having to go to the doctors a lot. And I mean, some people consider us senior citizens and some of our friends and stuff, I love them, but they're always at the doctor's office and I just want to spend my life doing something else. Not, not making fun of or whatever, but you know, just saying you have choices. So make some good choices, right? Okay. So back to the recipe. And I think we're going to just sprinkle this or pour it over is what it says to do. Okay. We're painting this. Add green food coloring, drizzle them. In. Okay. Green food coloring comes first. Of course, it's almost St. Patrick's Day, right? So you can add the green food coloring to your heart's content. Apparently I am going to start with a quarter of a, or a half of a teaspoon. Um, let me just see how that goes. That may be all the green. Oh yeah, that's going to be a lot of green. So we'll even cut that back. Maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. It's looking pretty. But it may thin out when we get the chocolate in. Let me show you how that's working. Okay. So just a quarter of a teaspoon did that. So that you may, well, it depends on how green you want them. And then we're going to take the chocolate out and scrape it over. Wait till we get to the frosting part. That should be exciting. Um, pour over. Let's try it this way. A lot easier when you don't have something in your way. So are you looking at making some health lifestyle changes or have you and how have they gone? Do you feel better? Do you feel like you need some help? I mean, I'm always willing to help and we certainly need an army of people to help other people get there because some people have fallen into discouragement and people have just had a hard time, but it's definitely doable. Don't think things are impossible. Because oftentimes it's what's in between your ears that is the one that kind of sinks you. You know, if you start thinking something's impossible, and I've done it before too, so don't think I'm, 
I don't have the uh, corner on this, but definitely don't rule it out. Good job, all things are possible. Alright, that's looking good. I don't think we're going to need any more food coloring. So we'll just kind of shake this off. Da, da, da. Then it's time to frost the donuts. So, okay. I'm checking on my video because it has been a little weird for me lately. I, I have technical glitches. I don't, yeah, it just happens. It's like the technical glitches just find me. So, all right, get that all. And I'm going to use a smaller spatula for that. Now, my husband thought these were pretty good. They were sitting on the counter this morning. And he got into them. And so it actually made... Um, the recipe says it's 8, but it, I, I found it almost got to 10 for me. But my husband decided to try them. And so apparently he liked them without the frosting. So, if you want to just make the donuts, should be good. Okay, let's see how this goes, and I'm not going to keep you on here the whole time. I just wanted to share a nice St. Patrick's mint chocolate chip donut with you, and well, there we go. Frosting's messy, guys. It's not It's not a thick frosting, interestingly enough. May need to cool for just a minute. If you want it to be a little thicker, you could probably go ahead and add a little bit more of the syrup to cover, you know, to be a little thicker. It's up to you. But anyway, that actually looks pretty good to me. And then you're just gonna do your chocolate sprinkles. Now for the test. Mmm, it's very good. Mint chocolate chip. All right. Mmm. Goodness. Yeah, towel. Okay. Thanks, everybody, and have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day.